It's one of the prettiest sights I've ever seen. Sunflower with a big beautiful butterfly. Oh, and a bee. Okay, so here's our first tomato of this variety. Just a quick scan of the farm to show you. <clears throat> we had all kinds of paths coming through here and thought we had spaced things out properly, but some areas you can still walk, but most are closing right up yep. and there's no path. So we're gonna move on to the squash next and take a peek. In there look at all those guys I just got done canning some squash and oh I guess I'm gonna have to do it again oh so if you saw the last one come off you realize that I pulled it off instead of twisting um Sometimes I like to use, oh, there's a little bee. Hi, little bee. Sometimes I like to use a knife to harvest, but today I don't have a clean one. And I always get a little bit worried about the germs that I'm going to get um, if I use a dirty Four. knife to harvest with. So really twisting works just as well, as long as you get a, get a hold of the thing. Every year, about this time of year, the squash bugs tend to get us. Oh, so I am going to show you a bunch of baby squash bugs, what those guys look like, and I'll show you some eggs, and then I'm going to destroy them all as quickly as I can. Look on that squash right there. That is baby squash bugs that have recently hatched, and we do not like those. Unfortunately, the only thing you can really do for squash bugs is squish them by hand. We've, diff we've used different sprays, different kind of organic sprays, and it never seems to work. So squishing by hand seems to be the way to go. These are squash bug eggs. And I just take them and roll them off and squish them the best I can. It's kind of gross to do it this way. But hey, we're all trying to be real farmers, right? So, gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, there's some more there. They're just brown little, almost like little seeds. And that's what I try to tell myself, is that they're little seeds. Jumped into the greenhouse for a minute to take a peek. And what to my wondering eyes are hanging tomato plants. A red tomato. Woohoo! Tomatoes are my absolute favorite, and up here in Maine, they take a while. They're, you know, they're green for, oh goodness, probably two months. Boy, once we're, once we're ready to pick them, they're going to go crazy. wild, crazy, yes. On this trellis that my husband made with the bike tire at the top to hold everything up, we've got some heirloom Italian um, cucumbers. So far, we are loving them. They're sweet. Look at the length of that thing. Learned with cucumbers. Oh wow, look at this one. That is probably over a foot long. It doesn't want to come off. Wow! So I've learned with cucumbers, the more you pick, the more you'll get. Oh my 
goodness. So I've been waiting and waiting. And do you see our first full eggplant? Yay! Some a little, some a little, some little Italian eggplant. And again, you can just twist these right off. Ta -da. Not ready to pick yet, but look at that pumpkin just hanging there. So now we're moving on to the patty pan squash. Oh, little bird, little bee, little bee. Little cucumber beetle in there. Mm. Oh gosh. That's, that's pretty cool. For the most part, our squash is doing really good, but if you notice on some of the squash that you get, um, a little, the flower that's, um, that starts the squash can sometimes turn mushy, especially if you've had a lot of rain and we've had a week full of rain. And so what happens is if you don't get that squash blossom off the end of the squash, you'll get blossom end rot. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what the, what the, that looks like. Okay. So this squash right here is going to be fine. But if you can tell, this is so mushy and disgusting. Get that off there so it doesn't affect the squash. Violet's over here gathering all the yard long beans. And the Japanese beetles seem to have gotten this in the last week. All these holes. So we will go around and try to capture them. But the beans themselves are actually doing all right. Can you show me your handful? What do you want to show us? It's a long twisty bean. It's a yard long bean. Was it growing around something? Yes. Yes. What was it growing around? It's one of the, around the pole. One of the poles for the bean teepee? Yes. Oops. Apparently I left this guy a little too long. That's one foot long zucchini right there. Well, before we go, you probably wanted to see how much we got for vegetables today. Violet! Violet is squished in here with all of these veggies. <laughs> Have a good one.